Hi learners, welcome to the 12th week content of early childhood care and education. The 11th week that dealt with the emotional foundation should be followed by the most important aspect of curriculum, the assessment. There is no one universal assessment method. It differs for different age groups. Nowadays, assessments are used not only to assess the intellectual capacity, but also the overall development of a child. Therefore, it is very important to understand the meaning of assessment, the types and the assessment used, especially in the field of early childhood education, as well as understanding the principles of assessment becomes imperative. Though the systematic assessment of children's behavior and progress involves too much time than it would take for providing learning experiences, assessing the child's learning and development provides vital information for the facilitator as well as the parents to make wise decisions about the child. Every facilitator should believe that assessment is not an added task to her job but rather an integral aspect of her role as a facilitator. This week course content on assessment deals with why, what and when to assess young children concerning early learning centers. Moreover, this week also deals with the perspectives of assessment concerning its types and purposes. The indicators of effective assessment giving an outline of the type of the tool that can be used based on the purpose of assessment would be dealt with. This week content also provides insight onto the most effective methods of assessment that could collect appropriate evidence with the purpose of enhancing the learning and development potential of young minds enrolled in an early learning center. The complete week's content is categorized into three modules and would be brought to you in the form of seven videos with its e-text, further learning and an overall graded assessment. Meet you again. Bye.